A weather conditions are being blamed for a school bus rollover in Morgan County, leaving a student with minor injuries. It happened on State Route 66 just before 7 o'clock this morning. Fox 13's Eliana Sheriff is live at Morgan Middle School this evening after speaking with that student. Eliana, how are they doing? It's a little chilly out here, and yes, I met with 11-year-old Ty Hancock just hours after he and that bus driver crawled out of the front of the bus. He's actually been riding with that bus driver for two years now, and he says she was driving very slowly and carefully before they lost control. Well, I had that weird feeling, and so I just said, Will you please help me if I am going to get into a crash? And if I do, I know that things happen, but can we be okay? And thank you for everything that I have in my family and in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. That's the prayer Ty Hancock said right before getting in that bus crash. Ty had just been picked up by the driver, the only other person on the bus driving on State Route 66. I had a weird feeling, well, I said a quick prayer and I looked up right as I looked up. I heard screeching noises and stuff and she was trying to brake and she couldn't. Well, it just kept accelerating and accelerating and all I saw left was a yellow sign and then we tipped over. While the bus was going down a hill, it went around a curve and hit some slick snow and slush. Yeah, all I, it was pretty scary. I remember just flying everywhere and then I woke up like at the middle of the bus. It was a scary call for Ty's dad, Travis. Feeling blessed right now that, you know, things didn't turn out worse than they did. Ty says he wants people to know his driver did the best she could in the circumstances. Lots of people have been saying that it's just her skills, how she's bad at driving. And I honestly think that I would have been also dead if it weren't if she weren't driving. She's a great driver. I have no no worries that she was driving recklessly or too fast. She gets to the bus stop on days like this early. It's easy for everybody to you know backseat driver and be well they should have done this, should have done that, but any driver that's ever hit black ice, there's not one thing you can do about it. And Ty says that he got a little road rash, but he's glad that they're both okay. And it's a good reminder to slow down. According to UHP, they believe this really just came down to bad weather and impairment is not suspected. Live in Morgan County, Eliana Sheriff, Fox 13 News, Utah.